Marshall. Hi everyone, this is Tim Roy. It is day one of training camp and you can come here every day during training camp to get an update right about this time as the Warriors prepare for the 2013-2014 season. We'll have interviews with players every day, plus of course here on Warriors.com, a complete rundown of all the conversations taken here after practice, including the uh, daily press meeting with Mark Jackson and the assembled reporters. Coming up later on today, we'll talk with Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. We'll be talking some shooting here on day one of training camp in 2013. I, Tim Roy for Warriors.com, and stay tuned for the upcoming interviews. We're back on Warriors.com. I'm Tim Roy, and with, of course, Clay Thompson. He's looking at something. I want to see if we can get this on there, our camera. I was cleaning up my office last oh, yeah. night man, after that's, Tweety a day. That's crazy, <laughs> I remember that game. I was against James Harden. There it is. Clay Thompson as a Washington State Cougar. Big game today, by the way. A yeah, big game, big football game. Yeah, we're going to catch the win. You know, the Stanford's coming up to Wazoo. Yeah. And, you know, we play great at home, so I'm excited to watch that. And we got, you know, Joe and uh, Kirk Lake are big Stanford fans, so we got a little side bet with them. <laughs> well, we won't tell the league about that. But anyway, the uh, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about that. Do you, do you ever get back to the Palouse? Yeah, I went back for homecoming. Uh, it was great to see all my friends. Uh, it's really like family up there. You know, it's a really unique place, so it was, it was great going back. Clay Thompson, our guest, day one of training camp. Now, you guys have been here throughout the month of September, but what's it like to have the first official practice? feels great. Honestly, it was good to just get out there and sweat, uh, compete. You know, we all play hard. So, uh, yeah, it was fun, you know, um, especially playing with these new guys. Uh, you know, come back tonight, you know, we'll just run through some stuff and, you know, have another good one. What's your mindset heading into this season for you? Oh, for me, you know, just to compete, 
try and be the best two-way player I can be. Uh, you know, I want to. I try to pride myself on my defense, and hopefully, you know, continue to go on that end and get recognition for it. Talking with Clay Thompson, we have some questions from you. You can fire away with your questions via social media, whether it be Twitter or Facebook, Vine or Instagram. And NSC Jones wants to know for Clay, which NBA player is the most difficult to defend? And you, you've defended all all types, from the Tony Parker types to James Harden types. Man, I'd say Kevin Durant, just because. You know, he's such a natural scorer. Uh, he's 6'11", but uh, he'd, be he'd be just as effective if he was 6'7". He's got that much ability, but um, he's, uh, if people forget how good a pure shooter he is, and, you know, you, you cut him off on the drive and then just stop and pop and shoot right over you. So he's, he's the toughest defender to me. I mentioned Tony Parker, and uh, Suitha wants to know, what was your main takeaway from the Spurs versus the Warriors second round of the playoffs? Man, uh, my main takeaway was... You know, uh, just, uh, you know, what I have to work on, you know, um, the Spurs try to take away my jump shot a lot. So it's obviously I worked on putting the ball on the floor and, you know, my mid-range game and finish around the rim. And as a team, I took away, you know, uh, we're just scratching the surface we, what we can be. You know, we were out there without our all-star David Lee, and we were still, you know, giving the Spurs all I can handle, and that was... And we're still in infancy with this team. That was our first playoff experience together. It's a series and also a postseason to put the Warriors on the map. What's going to be the difference this year? Uh, you're no longer the hunters. You'll be the hunted. Teams are not going to lay down for you. feels great, honestly. You know, when was the last time the Warriors uh, were the hunted? You know, um, maybe back in run TMC days, or we believe. But other than that, it's been a while. So we just want to give the Warriors fans something to root for and show them that, you know, basketball is back in the Bay Area. Back to Facebook, and uh, Mike Ostrom wants to know, hey, Clay, what is your favorite food? Italian food's my favorite. Okay, food, any, any particular pasta in mind? Man, I love all kind of pasta. You know, their garlic bread so good. Uh, just Italian food. Love Italian food. Uh, Rosaba wants to know, how many three-pointers do you expect you and the Curry brothers will make all together? It's including Seth? Yeah. Wow. How many did we make last year? Like 500-something? Including Seth, at least 650. 650? Yeah, maybe 700. Maybe, maybe 700. Well, you, you heard it here first. <laughs> uh, Luke wants to know, where do you think the Warriors' defense will rank by the end of the season? Hopefully top five. I mean, we got all the pieces to do it. we got a lockdown perimeter defender in Andre, and we got one of the better defensive centers in the league in Andrew Bogut. And, you know, me and Harrison and Steph are going. Kent Bazemore was a really underrated defender. Tony Douglas is amazing in the passing lane, so we should be great. I think the team will get better and better in that regard and build on last year. And Hey, Clay, you're awesome. From Shannon, random fun question. What is your ultimate pump song to get you ready for a game? Um, it's a song by Bone Thugs. I know it's called Bone, 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 I think. It's, I'm a huge Bone Thugs fan. I have been since I was a little kid. You know, I know they're old school, but I love them. Hey, you got to go with what works. Yep, you do. And I've been listening to them since before games since high school. Now, the one a question I wanted to ask you today, and, and talk, we talked a little bit yesterday about shooting, but what makes a, a great shooter in your mind? What, what are the, uh, the aspects of a great shooter? Uh, consistent form. You know, every shot that's the exact same, no matter if it's off the bounce, off the spot up. Um, consistent follow through. And uh, someone who's fearless, you know, uh, someone who doesn't. They're gonna, gonna as a shooter, you know, they've all you all have bad nights, but you can't let that bother you. You know, they forget about whatever happened last possession and they still let it go. Forty percent outside the three point line for his career, Clay Thompson. Great to be back in the gym. Uh, yeah, appreciate you having me. That's Clay Thompson. I'm Tim Roy for Warriors.com. Coming up, we'll talk with uh, Steph Curry as we continue here with our coverage of Warriors training camp. Can I have it? Yeah, you can have it.
You all set? Yes. All right. Hi, Tim Roy. We're back on Warriors.com. It's day one of a training camp. I'm joined by Steph Curry. We talked to Clay Thompson in just a moment. And remember, every day, right around this time, check out Warriors.com for interviews with players each and every day. And, and as I was talking to Clay, you guys have been here a while. You've been working out a long time. But there has to be something different about the first official practice. It's kind of a different buzz in the air. Um, you have your team meeting before training camp starts, and the coach kind of lays the groundwork for what the season's going to be like and expectations. Uh, and once you step on the floor, you know it's different because it's, it's go time. We're putting in plays. We're competing and uh, we're getting back in shape for, for the season. What are your expectations? Just to keep, keep getting better as a team and individually. We have great talent, but um, it's a matter of, you know, just being a, a hard-working unit from top to bottom uh, from day one. And I think things will kind of take care of themselves as we go through the season uh, with, you know, how disciplined we are and and uh, the mindset we have going into the season. As one of the leaders on this team, do you have to kind of help set that tone as well? For sure. Um, we got some new faces on the team, some rookies. So to be one of those guys that's going to push the tempo, you know, pump up the atmosphere, uh, get guys going, and, and uh, you know, be out front when we start drills and things like that, just showing how hard we need to work and the energy we need to put into it to, to get, uh, you know, get the job done. How different is it to have a younger brother at practice? It's wild. I'm looking at him right now doing some, uh, some shooting drills, uh, guarded each other a couple times today. It's, it's pretty special. I mean, I still can't get over the fact that he's here and, and you know trying for the team and trying to make his, his name for himself so proud of him um, obviously I gotta go at him if we're if we're uh, lined up across from each other though. Steph Curry of course one of the uh, great shooters in NBA history 46 44 and 90 his percentages across the board only player in NBA history to do that so we'll start with a Facebook question you can send in your questions on Facebook or Twitter wherever your social media tendency is and Giovanni Torres wants to know how do you get into the zone your preparation from the summertime you know the getting up shots and putting up your work so that when you you know start to feel good during games it it's just about repetition at that point and you know capitalizing on all the work you put into it and also on Facebook, Richard wants to know, what gives you the motivation to go out every game and to give it all you have? Uh, that this game can be taken from you uh, in a second. You know, injuries, um, all sorts of different sit situations may arise. So to just not take the game for granted, um, you know, it's kind of cliche -ish, but play every game like your, it's your, every game in practice like it's your last time you're touching the basketball because it very well, very well could be. You know, it's interesting you mentioned that. This was a summer where you didn't have to do any rehab that had to be nice very nice um, I got my proper rest and then was able to go you know full force back into it uh, to get, get ready for the season not miss any time on uh, Twitter Elise wants to know what do you think of the Splash Brothers nickname I love it I love <laughs> it um, uh, you know to have two guys that can shoot you know, like me and Clay um, it's, uh, it's a kind of a tag that I think we've adopted pretty pretty nicely over the last year I talked to Clay a moment ago about what makes a good shooter. What are the, the habits you think of a good shooter? Uh, consistency with your form. You know, everybody shoots differently, but there's certain mechanics and you know from balance and um, you know the release, making sure that it's the same every single time you shoot the basketball. Um, that's the only way to to stay consistent um, and become a better shooter. Speaking of shooting on Facebook, Maddie wants to know if you took 100 three-point shots who would make more or if you and clay took 100 three-point shots who would make more and what would the score be shoot <laughs> depending on the day it would probably be like 91 90 every single time <laughs> i think so i think you're right about that facebook let's see uh doug wants to know do you think igadawa will pay immediate dividends oh for sure on both ends of the floor he's a veteran he knows how to play the game and um you know to have a guy that's so versatile um who can be thrown at different positions, uh, and whose role will be uh, kind of you know determined as we go along, and how he fits in. It's going to be huge. Let's talk about the team for a moment. It's going to be different this year. You know, the Warriors made a name for themselves. You made a name for yourself last year. A step forward. You averaged 22 points a game. The great postseason run. Uh, teams will be ready for the Warriors this year. Oh, well, they will. Just like we were ready for other teams last year. So, 
we will you know, keep that same mentality, try to take care of home home court advantage when we when we have the chance, and um, just outwork teams. That's a where we're going to hang our hat on this year. We got a lot of talent, but we can only take you so far. You got to grow as a team, be disciplined, and, and outwork uh, your opponent. And that's something you guys started last year on Twitter. A giant nine R warrior wants to know what a at what age did you first beat your dad in one on one? I don't think I. We we don't we didn't play much one on one. We played a lot of horse, pig, yeah. curry. Yeah. Uh, I first beat I think in that when I was thirteen. Um, he beat me the last time here on this court, and we had the Splash Brothers. Wow. Kind of, uh, check camp, but I, I owe him one. <laughs> uh, IMG ninety eight wants to know favorite NFL player. Cam Newton. Ah. Big time Carolina Panthers fan, so. Um, now, didn't I see you, it might be a vine or something, where you were throwing passes with Cam last year? Yeah, we, I went to practice down there. Actually, I was two years ago during the lockout. Right. And I went to practice down in Charlotte, and Derek Anderson, Jimmy Clausen, Cam Newton were all throwing uh, footballs with a crossbar from like 30. <laughs> I was the first one to hit it, which nice. uh, I still got that video evidence. Okay. It's good. Now, did you ever thought, did you play in high school at all, football? Football, no, no. just golf and basketball. Okay. Did you ever want to be like a wide receiver or something? No, I, I left that alone when I was, I think I stopped playing football when I was like 11. Yeah. My brother played in high school. He was a good wide receiver, so he has the hands uh, in the family. And uh, Log Marillo 126 wants to know, is the shimmy coming back? <laughs> I hope so, because that means I'm shooting well. Because <laughs> I, I kind of lose control of myself at that point and just see what happens. That, that, that's right after the one-foot runner three, right? <laughs> yeah, I might pull that one out too. <laughs> okay. All right. These are the important things we find out here at Warriors.com. Steph, as always, so gracious with your time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Warriors Vox. All right. Follow him on Twitter. <laughs> Steph Curry, you can at Warriors Vox, Warriors VOX. Don't forget, every day at this time, we'll have player interviews for you tomorrow. I believe we're going to be talking to Jermaine O'Neal, among others, uh, tomorrow, the one of the newest Warriors. And get all your Warrior training camp information right here at Warriors.com. Have yourself a great Saturday.